Hello everyone, welcome to Knowledge India once again. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about VPC sharing. We will try to see along with the demo, how can we go ahead and launch instances in one subnet, but from two different accounts. So uh, what we will try to understand after doing that is that how does this particular feature help us? What are its benefits and with this feature being available what are key things which we should keep in mind and in which scenarios we should go ahead and use this feature right so uh, this particular video is in continuation to our video which was there on resource access manager in case you have not seen that video we highly recommend that you watch that video first you can find its link in the description or at the top right corner so you can you should watch the resource access manager first and then you should come to this particular video all right let us go ahead so what we are gonna do in this particular session is that we will go ahead and try to do something of this sort so we will have a subnet which would be shared between two accounts of course i mean it can be shared with it can be shared with more than two accounts as well that's possible so in our last video you have seen that how we have uh, shared one of our subnet at our organization level at our organizational unit level actually and there were two accounts within that organizational unit and hence that subnet is visible or available in both the aws accounts so keeping that concept in mind so what we are trying to do is there will be a subnet which would be shared with two accounts let's say there is one owner account and the other account would be would be just other account basically the account which is which is using it but it's not the owner now both the accounts can go ahead and launch ec2 instances in that subnet right and uh, of course technically though we share subnet but when we share subnet, other uh, entities related to VPC also start showing up, uh, you know, in the other accounts. For example, when I share this particular subnet from this account to this account, not only this subnet, the VPC in which this subnet is there, even the VPC will start showing up there. If we have some internet gateway which is getting used by this VPC, even the internet gateway will show up here. But understand, everywhere in the owner attribute the account number of this account would be there and uh, somewhere in the attribute shared also would be written clearly so this second account would never be able to come and change things it cannot go and delete the subnet cannot go and delete the vpc and things like that okay so now let us go ahead and try to launch the instances and see how does it work so this is one of our accounts and here if I go in the subnets you can see that here this particular subnet is the one which has been shared with this account so you can see if I scroll down you can see after the owner in brackets you can see the word shared so you can recognize with that okay one more thing to see closely here is the availability zone in this particular account ki3 it is us west 2b but the availability zone ID is AZ1. Okay, now let me go to another account. This is KI2 account. In KI2, you can see again I am able to see the subnet, and this particular subnet is again the shared one, the same subnet which we saw some time back. And uh, here the availability zone is US West 2A and the id is az1 so see this again the other one here it is 2b and the id is az1 right so please understand the availability zone name would change from account to account right but the id will remain constant and i availability zone id is the right mechanism to figure out that that which physical location or which physical data center my resource is going to be in okay so what we will do now is using the ki2 account and using the ki3 account we will go ahead and launch one one instance uh, one one instance 
in in this subnet right so after that we will see that how they are able to talk to each other or not of course they will be able to talk to each other because they are there in the same vpc within one subnet they will be able to talk to each other but there are few more things which we will talk about the benefits which should be there so let me go ahead and quickly launch the instance okay so i'll go to oregon region i'll go to ec2 i'll say launch instance uh, amazon linux and t2 micro next we'll go ahead and choose the vpc shared vpc and within this only one subnet is there we'll choose that we'll i will ask for a public ip so that we can connect to it all right we'll say next um any tag we can give it later also security group so let us go ahead and create a security group uh, 22 we are opening that should be okay and the key will be able to select i have this key already so i'll just go ahead and say launch so this particular instance is created in ki3 okay let me just name here as well okay now if i go here i can launch an instance here as well really quick launch instance okay next we'll choose the shared vpc the subnet within that we want a public ip other things as it is next 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 422 is open fine launch here we don't have any key pair so we'll just say okay create a new key pair we'll give it some name let's say ki2 here and download so this should just get downloaded i just paused the video and saved the key and converted it to ppk as well this instance is also launched so we have instances launched in uh, you know in both the accounts and let me just name this as ki2 to remember it now the important thing is both of these uh, instances though if you go ahead and try to look at the availability zone in ki2 it says us west 2a and if you go ahead and see here it says us west 2b though the availability zone name looks different but if you see from az id perspective they are there in the same availability zone and that's very important why is it important now if these two instances talk to each other if there is data transfer happening between these two instances it would be free you know already that all the data transfer happening on private ip within one subnet is free right uh, within one subnet is free and because both of these are launched in the same subnet and hence it is there in the same availability zone the data transfer charges will be zero the rule is that if the data transfer is happening within one availability zone then charges would be zero now when this concept was not there please understand this clearly when this concept was not there what would have happened you would have one separate subnet in this account another separate subnet in this account you may go ahead and choose 2a here and 2a here as the availability zone but you don't know that in you know at the back end whether their id az id is same or not you would not know that surely and then in order to do the data transfer between these two you would have done a peering data transfer would happen over the vpc peering and you will pay for it for the data transfer charges when it when data transfer happens over vpc peering you pay for it so here in this case first your data transfer between these two instances becomes totally free you don't have to pay anything right that's great also performance wise if you see because it is part of same subnet and hence it is there in the same availability zone same data center basically the performance of uh, you know between these two instances would be really good in terms of network performance it would be really great right now another important thing is let's also discuss quickly about the control now though these instances are launched in one subnet but it it is not possible that this accounts somebody from this account can go ahead and touch this instance you cannot go ahead and delete this instance or stop this instance in the same way uh, this particular account 
an account, a guy in this particular account cannot go and do anything in to this particular instance so please understand the underlying network only is uh, underlying network or the vpc and subnet is being shared between the two accounts but the resources which are getting launched in that the ec2 instance or the rds instance which is getting launched in that on on that resource only the respective account will have control okay so like there is no chance that this guy ki3 can go ahead and uh, do anything to the instance which is there of ki2 that's not possible though they they are though they are there in the same launched in the same subnet but the instances belong to that individual account only from network placement perspective they are there in the subnet right so that's a good thing in terms of pricing please understand though they are there in the shared subnet in terms of pricing the bill will go to the account which has launched the instance so which means for this particular instance this account will pay for this instance this account will pay i mean the the bill the bill uh, would be charged to the respective account now that's another thing that if you have uh, organization or and if you have consolidated billing it will go and uh, you know get consolidated at one place but where does it appear so for this instance it will appear in this account for its this instance it will appear in this account right so i hope you got some idea um, uh, we can also go ahead and quickly connect to this instance and try to uh, you know check whether they are able to talk to each other or not that will be a very quick thing okay so here i am uh, in ki3 account i'll go ahead and pick this public ip and first connect to this instance and then from there i will try to connect to the other instance in private manner so i'll just minimize this I've put the public IP here. I've already specified the key. I'll say open, and with this, I should be able to go ECS EC2 hyphen user. Okay, I'm inside this particular machine. This machine is there in KI3. Uh, here, if you see, now we'll go to other one, which is there in KI2. I'll just pick the private IP of this instance. Okay, and. Uh, We'll just try to do a telnet. If we are able to reach, it should be all good. Okay. We need to just install telnet. Right, so as you can see it is able to connect to the other instance of course on the private ip address so both are able to talk to each other seamlessly no problem they are there in the same data center and this is how you can uh, you can do things uh, just to summarize at the last uh, this particular concept is is really useful if you have multiple accounts uh, let's say for different environments so uh, for an example uh, let's say this particular account is there for prod this particular account is there for test there can be one more account for development now what earlier uh, what used to happen was people were maintaining these separate accounts and they'll have the vpcs in every account uh, the resources would be launched in every vpc if they want to you know upgrade the code or they want to migrate basically anything from one environment to other they'll have vpc peering so that also used to used to work that was fine but then people who are operating in this particular account they will automatically have access in that particular account so they can go ahead and maybe change few things in the vpc as well but with this new model what is happening you will create the vpc in one account only and the subnets also here you will just share it with all the other accounts so let's say there is an administrator in this account right in this other account there is one administrator that guy cannot go ahead and do any change he cannot go ahead and uh, do any change with nat gateway he cannot go ahead and do any change with internet gateway he will just get the subnet he has to just launch the resources in that that's all he can do he cannot do anything else and that's that's a that's a very very that's a very very powerful thing actually guys right so i hope uh, you learned something from this video if so please like this video and share it with your friends also go ahead and uh, 
try to do it in your account so that you get more confidence uh, with that we'll end this video uh, i will connect with you again with the next video on aws till then take care bye bye guys